皆さんおはようございます。Hi everyone and welcome to Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo and I'll be your guide. Today I have news about what's in store for Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. We'll spotlight four of these titles in their own segments and others will be featured in a series of headlines. We'll begin with Nintendo 3DS for our first spotlight title of the day. Some wild Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news has appeared, and you can catch it in four parts. As you just saw in the trailer, the legendary Pokemon that steals light, Necrozma, has transformed into two new forms Dusk Mane Necrozma, who took over Sol Galeo, and Dawn Wings Necrozma, who took over Lunala. A brand new showdown awaits. In addition to new map areas like a beach where surfers gather, a valley of Pikachu, and other facilities, the main characters have stylish new looks. On top of that, there are new clothing items and other surprises to look out for. Huh, looks like the way you encounter your first partner Pokemon will be different too. If you purchase either game early, you can get a special Rock Ruck who will evolve into Dust Form Lichen Rock. Somehow, this Rock Ruck can perform a special move that this Pokemon usually can't learn. Also, if you purchase and download the digital version before January 10th, you'll receive 12 Quick Balls. And finally, on September 22nd, the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console titles, Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version, will be released. If you purchase either one, you can receive the mythical Pokemon Celebi as a bonus in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, or Pokemon Ultra Moon. You can pre purchase Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version in Nintendo eShop after today's Nintendo Direct. Also, Unknown Ultra Beasts, codenamed UB Burst and UB Assembly, will make their debut. With UB Burst in Pokemon Ultra Sun and UB Assembly in Pokemon Ultra Moon. That's the latest news I have, so please follow our coverage to see these Ultra Beasts in action and much more. The Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon games launch November 17th. This themed new Nintendo 2DS XL system will release two weeks prior on November 3rd. All right, time to run through some headlines for Nintendo 3DS. Every hee hee and ha ha of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Which means it's time to take back Princess Peach's stolen voice from Cacletta all over again. And in the all new mode Minions Quest The Search for Bowser, you'll go behind the scenes of Mario and Luigi's adventure to learn the somewhat heroic tale of Bowser's minions. The classic story mode also has new stamp sheets. Tap compatible amiibo figures to stamp them and earn new equipment. You can also tap the Boo amiibo figure or the new Goomba and Koopa Troopa figures to get two additional stamp sheets that offer up items in both modes of the game. The more stamps you have, the more equipment and items you'll earn. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions laughs its way to Nintendo 3DS systems October 6th. The new Goomba and Koopa Troopa amiibo launch that same day. Kirby is about to enter a tournament against his toughest rival yet, himself. And his new game, Kirby Battle Royale, offers a variety of ways to fight. In Battle Arena mode, everyone battles until the last Kirby standing wins. In the Or Express mode, you hoard treasure until the fastest Kirby wins. And he's just getting started. 
fight to the best of your abilities and prove you're the one Kirby to rule them all. There's a single player story mode too, not to mention regional online battles. Kirby Battle Royale will fight its way here January 19th, 2018. By the way, we're holding a poll to celebrate Kirby's 25th anniversary and to crown the world's favorite copy ability. If you're interested, head to kirby.nintendo.com slash poll for more details. If you missed out on the original Yokai Watch game, you passed up one of the biggest smash hits in Japan of the last 10 years. But now's a great chance to jump into the series with the ultimate version of Yokai Watch 2, including all new content and features. If you already own a version of Yokai Watch 2, you'll be able to download a free Oni Evolution software update tomorrow that adds in new features, such as the opportunity to befriend S rank Jibanya, Jibanya on S. or S rank Komasa, and new boss battles in an improved blasters mode. Plus, you'll have the ability to transfer data to the new game, so you can pick up where you're left off when the ultimate entry in the series, Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Spectres, launches September 29th. Catriel Layton, daughter of the famous Professor Layton, is on the case. And luckily, some things run in the family, in the seventh main installment of the Layton series. Search for clues, help out townspeople, solve puzzles, and hopefully save the day. Try on an exclusive Flora costume, only available in the Nintendo 3DS version of the game, and be there the day she opens her detective agency. Layton's mystery journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy launches on Nintendo 3DS October 6th. Nintendo fans will have another way to play Minecraft, coming to new Nintendo 3DS systems. Play in survival or creative modes, use the included five skin packs and the two texture packs to customize your game. Your inventory, crafting, and map will be displayed on the touchscreen and you can choose between buttons or touch controls. Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition will be released today on Nintendo eShop right after this presentation. The packaged version will launch at a later date. For years, the Mario Party series brought us together around our home consoles, ever since the original launched on Nintendo 64. We partied like it was 1999, because it was. And now, the best minigames from all 10 home console titles are going portable on Nintendo 3DS. We've curated the top 100 minigames, the most ever in a single Mario Party title, to create the best one yet. The game supports download play for up to four people, so with just one game card, any of your friends with a Nintendo 3DS family system can join in too. Take a tour through all the mischief, magic, and memories the series has to offer when Mario Party The Top 100 launches on Nintendo 3DS November 10th. In two days, Metroid Samus Returns finally arrives on Nintendo 3DS. And everyone from Metroid fans to Super Smash Bros. fans should take notice. This meticulously crafted side-scrolling adventure contains immersive 3D visuals, atmospheric exploration-based gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities, and some truly wicked bosses. Who or what will you encounter on this deadly planet? Vengeance has a name. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for launch September 15th. Atlas always has something good in the works for RPG fans. Nine characters' paths will converge in The Alliance Alive in an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas, heading to Nintendo 3DS systems in early 2018. We can also confirm that the handheld will play home to Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux, with all of its new content and enhanced graphics. Another Nintendo DS cult classic has set its sights on Nintendo 3DS systems in the form of Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. The gorgeous launch edition will include a collector's box with an art book and decal sheet. While you're at it, don't forget to check Nintendo eShop for something else that releases today. The new Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo. Two new titles from beloved series are almost here. Jackson! Uncover the mysterious origin of everyone's favorite lawyer, an Apollo Justice gotcha! Ace Attorney. And soon, the bonds between heroes will decide their fates in Fire Emblem Warriors. 
Check this out real quick. You're looking at the new orange and white edition of the new Nintendo 2DS XL, and it'll be here before you know it on October 6th. That's all for today's Nintendo 3DS headlines. Now, let's move on to Nintendo Switch by kicking things off with a trailer for our next Spotlight title, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Please take a look. This is Allrest, a world covered in a sea of clouds. Many giant life forms called Titans live in this cloud sea, and the people have built their countries and lives on top of these creatures. In the middle of this world stands the World Tree, and it's said that at the top of it lies Elysium, an idyllic land of plenty. Many great powers rule over regions of Ulres. The Kingdom of Uriah is one of them, its territory contained within their titan. The Orions deeply respect nature, boasting advanced biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Their rival, the militaristic empire of Morardain, is another. Controlling titans through mechanical means, they bring heavy armaments to bear as they annex other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. The imperial province of Gormak, a plentiful land now fallen under Ardanian control. And the Indolein Praetorium, whose people revere and worship the Titans. Indol controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so despite being a theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. Next, the Argentum Trade Guild, a shrewd consortium of traders. They do well for themselves by deftly navigating the strained relations between other nations and exploiting wartime demand. And last but not least, Torna, carrying out secret operations under the Cloud Sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long, this world will fall into turmoil over efforts to find the legendary blade the Aegis. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Hand her over to a groaner. The Aegis must be destroyed. Ah! Then I shall Aegis too and make mountains of cash. I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream. Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? Only time will tell. Welcome to Allrest, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My name is Azota. Oh yes, that's me, right there. I may be relatively small, but I am also a titan. And this little troublemaker is the protagonist of our story, Rex, who lives on my back. I suppose you could say I'm his landlord. And his guardian, too. He refers to me as Gramps. You may call me the same. Rex used to work as a salvager, scavenging useful resources from beneath the Cloud Sea. Until one day he met a girl named Pyra, and the two set off on a quest to deliver her safely to Elysium. Can you believe he accepted such a lofty job just to impress a girl? <laughs> oh yes, and this is also me. Utterly adorable, if I do say so myself. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you too will embark on a journey across the Titan's backs. Each Titan fosters a unique scenery, very different from its neighbors. Some have big open fields, while others boast huge caverns set deep within the Titan's own body. Remember, we Titans are living beings, each with our own quirks, which you must learn to navigate. Of course, you'll also cross paths with many a dangerous creature on these Titans. It's their home too, 
but it's sadly inevitable that we butt heads from time to time. Those who fight together with synthetic life forms called blades, like Rex does, are known as drivers. When drivers do battle, their weapons and powers are granted to them by blades, such as Pyra, for example. Up to three drivers and three blades can work together at any one time. As you continue attacking with your normal weapons, you constantly work toward charging up your driver arts. These special abilities run the gamut, with some allowing you to inflict extra damage depending on your position, while other, more arcane arts can cause HP potions to appear. Just use them wisely and watch closely the tide of battle to know when best to deploy them. Blades also support their trusted drivers by using blade arts to increase the power of their attacks, their accuracy and the like. That way, the drivers can focus on playing a more active role in the battlefield. Just wait till you encounter some tougher opposition. Things won't always go your way, so it's important to learn the benefits of switching blades. By using items called core crystals, drivers can awaken new blades. This is known as resonance. You aren't limited to just one. A single driver can bond with multiple blades. The weapons and arts available to you depend on the blades with which you bond. And you never know what kind of blade you'll get until you awaken them. Sometimes you may muster up some very special ones. Oh, looks like you hit the jackpot this time. You can pick up the three blades into battle with you. With each blade being either an attacker type, defender type, or a healer type, it's important to switch blades and tactics in step with your situation. Like I always say, there's no better game plan than using the right blade for the job at hand. As a basic rule of thumb for drivers, you should always stay abreast of the blades your party members are using, and strategize accordingly. By using your arts, you'll fill up your blade's special gauge. When you finally activate one of these specials, the driver will return the weapon to its blade owner, enabling the blade to deliver a devastating attack. Blade specials have four levels of intensity, and I must say, levels three and four are a bit too wild for my taste. So, what do you think? You are still a bit green. But one day you may work your way up to being a great driver yourself. There is much more to learn, but consider this a sneak peek. You can combine arts into something more and really turn the tide. And now it's past my bedtime. Your journey through the clouds begins when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launches on Nintendo Switch December the 1st. The world of all rest is waiting for you. Alongside the regular version, we will be offering a special edition, including a sound selection CD, a special metal game case, and a 220-page hardbound art book. You can also look forward to the release of a Xenoblade Chronicles 2-themed Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, sold separately. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, we have some more headlines for you. Splatoon 2 is one happening game. Backed by popular demand, it's Kelp Dome. Now with some fresh twists, like extra grates to slip through and a bit of added turf on each side for your inking pleasure. Watch out though, shooting up and down through those graded platforms should get pretty crazy. Now for something new, Snapper Canal. In this stage, a river is running right down the middle. The key to victory? Figuring out how to break into the central area and then push through the other team's base. Also, we're introducing a new Brella weapon called the Tentabrella. It's sort of like a regular umbrella, except, whoa, that's huge. It kind of looks like a big camping tent, capable of guarding over a large area. The Kelp Dome stage we showed earlier will be available to play Friday evening. We're planning even more weapons and stages for future releases, so Splatoon 2 should stay fresh for a long time. 
Warriors from across the Fire Emblem series have been summoned to stop the Chaos Dragon and uncover the mystery of the Shield of Flames. Each one will face armies a thousand strong by unleashing devastating attacks. As their stories unfold, new combinations of characters will mingle and bond on the battlefield of Fire Emblem Warriors. And now, a beloved warrior is joining the cause. It's Lin! Hailing from Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance, Lindis of the Lorca lends us her steel. Keep your eyes on the horizon, soldier. A new trailer launches today. If you think I can't hold my own, you're sorely mistaken. Fire Emblem Warriors launches October 20th alongside the special edition, which includes the game, a premium character card set with slipcase, a double-sided poster, and a three-CD music set. Separately, the Krom and Tiki Amiibo figures release the same day. The action puzzle game that lets you snip and clip your friends is getting reams of new content on Nintendo eShop and in stores. Snipper Clips Plus, cut it out together. A new expanded version of the game that packs in all the paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new stages, including a world based on comic books and a toy box world too. Oh, and get this. A new feature lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. You start with one of many random body shapes that will require some hilarious new approaches. So fans of this cult hit and newcomers alike can enjoy all of this new content with friends and family. Snipper Clips Plus Cut It Out Together launches November 10th. This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo eShop. You've never seen a shooter like this before. Change your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local and online team-based multiplayer shooter coming to Nintendo Switch. With teams of shape-shifting robots, this is no ordinary shooter. Hitting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink and make the same body part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, your abilities will change too, forcing you to change tactics as well. Example, larger legs will improve your jumping game, and your hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. Clever players might even transform their allies on purpose. Your team's avatar is only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive in Winter 2017. If you kept up with the news from E3 2017, then you probably heard that Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include all the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi Toppers, and the first-ever Nintendo-themed battle cards, along with the new addition of local wireless multiplayer. Check out Samus's gunship with its wave beam boost, followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR and its Super Star Boost. Just pick the blue team to play as Luigi or the orange team to play as Mario. But to rep your love for Nintendo, you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game. You'll have your chance when Rocket League launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday season. Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes, with roles including tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your opponents in real-time online battles. First Blood, Double Kill, Triple Kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes including 5v5, 3v3, 1v1, and a unique Hook Wars mode that will challenge your skills and prove your valor as a true champion. Draw first blood, carry your team to the finish line, and become a legend in the arena. Arena of Valor beta test version will be available for free this winter. Live another life in another world in this timeless epic coming to Nintendo Switch. Winner of more than 200 Game of the Year awards, Bethesda Game Studios' open-world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be anyone and do anything, can now be played anywhere. The ancient evil of dragons threatens the future of Skyrim. As the prophesied Dragonborn, you are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone, 
From archery, to crafting, to destruction magic and more. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even if you've played Skyrim before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. The Champion's Tunic, the Hylian Shield, and the Master Sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda character amiibo figure. Or, you can always seek out these treasures as you explore the vast world. This version of the game launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 17th in Europe and the Americas. Bethesda Softworks is bringing two iconic first-person shooters to Nintendo Switch. Id Software, the studio that pioneered the genre, is bringing the critically acclaimed Doom to your TV and anywhere you want to be. Slay hordes of demons with devastating guns and single player and crush your friends in online multiplayer when Doom tears onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Machine Games Wolfenstein 2 sends you on a mission to liberate a Nazi-controlled America. Only you have the guts, guns, and gumption to spark the second American revolution. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus launches on Nintendo Switch in 2018. Flip Wars is rolling out a new update, and it's packing a new online battle mode, Class Matches. This mode has its own leaderboards, encouraging you to try and move up to the next class. It also introduces a red-hot new stage surrounded by bubbling magma. In the Red Colosseum, panels are plagued by flames. And if you accidentally touch them, your character will become harder to control. Some other new mechanics are being added too, like spinners that flip over panels. The new update will usher in local wireless play as well, so friends can get together and play together on their own Nintendo Switch consoles. Flip Wars is available now, and this new update will be free for owners of the game on Nintendo eShop. All right, game fans, it's quiz time. Recognize this arcade cabinet? It certainly has been a while, but finally, after many years, our arcade titles are making a return. And the first one is Mario Brothers. By sharing your Joy-Con, you can run, jump, and compete, I mean, cooperate to win. Notice the little visual details from the arcade version. Other arcade classics are on the way too, including versus Super Mario Brothers, versus Balloon Fight, versus Ice Climber, versus Pinball, versus Clue Clue Land, and more. These arcade games will contain other subtle differences you can't find in their NES counterparts. See if you can spot them. Arcade Archives Mario Brothers is coming down the pipe September 27th. Real quick, some news for Zelda fans. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibo figures will release on November 10th. They'll summon materials and weapons, but unlike other Amiibo, they'll conjure up headgear based on the champion's divine beasts. They have functional purposes as well, and we'll have more info soon. Whether you compete in a court or a ring, there's no shortage of great sports games for Nintendo Switch this year. With big gameplay improvements and stunning graphics, NBA 2K18 will have the Nintendo Switch lineup shook when it launches on September 15th in Nintendo eShop, and in retail October 17th. Fans of sports entertainment should also note that WWE 2K18 is coming soon as well. EA Sports FIFA 18 is the most immersive, social, and authentic soccer game out there. Take the world's game on the go and play anywhere with anyone when FIFA 18 launches on September 29th. The premier Pokemon fighting game brings multiplayer battle action to Nintendo Switch next week. And the demo version is available right now, so give it a try in anticipation of the game's launch. More Nintendo Switch headlines are on the way. But first, a video of our third Spotlight title, a brand new RPG in development at Square Enix. It also happens to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Please take a look. In the faraway land of Orstera, Eight travelers venture forth, step into their shoes, and explore the realm as you see fit. Eight brave souls, each with a unique talent. Eight lands, eight stories to be told. So tell me, friend, what path will you tread?
Embark on an adventure all your own. Project Octopath Traveler. The producers of Bravely Default at Square Enix bring us a new fantasy world brought to life through a mix of CG, pixel art, and visual wizardry that the developers have termed HD2D. Begin your journey as one of eight protagonists, each with their own origin, talents, and goals. Where will your journey begin? Who will you team up with and where will you go next? All these decisions and more are completely up to you, the player. Each character has his or her own path action that can be used to interact with the people they encounter in a distinct way. For example, the warrior Ulberic can challenge almost anyone to a duel. With one such duel, he could expose an evildoer and bring them to justice, this is a good day for or force someone in his way out of the way. On your guard. The dancer Primrose, on the other hand, can allure others into following her. With this power, she could track down a missing person and bring them back, or lure her enemies into a trap. She can even summon an allured character to help her in battle. Essentially, each character has their own way of achieving their objectives. The developers aim to give players the freedom to choose their own paths and immerse themselves in a deep story through true role-playing. But what about combat? In this game, battles are a fusion of simple pick-up-and-play, turn-based battles, and all-new mechanics. One such mechanic is the boost system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take in battle. You can then spend them to dramatically increase the strength of your attacks and abilities, or use it to chain attacks. Try targeting an enemy's weak point to break its guard, then deliver powerful blows while it's weakened. Or, if an ally is in trouble, use it to get them right back into fighting shape. Identifying the right time to boost may just be the key to victory. There's a deep well of strategies to draw from, and your tactical genius won't go unrewarded. Later today, a demo version of Project Octopath Traveler will launch worldwide in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. Pretty soon, a survey will be conducted to gather your feedback, so please participate if you can. And look out for an extended cut of the trailer we just debuted as well. The latest RPG from Square Enix, Project Octopath Traveler, is scheduled for a simultaneous worldwide release in 2018. We hope you're looking forward to it. The full version of the trailer that kicked off that segment will be released after today's Nintendo Direct. Please check it out! But first, it's time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. This just in, a report written by someone named Biff? The world's stretchiest fighting sport, ARMS, is extending the fun with game updates. As announced at Gamescom, the next update adds in a new stage and a new fighter named Lollipop with three tricky new arms. But there's another new feature as well. Now you can remap the controls to the buttons of your choice. After all, this game's all about flexibility. The best part? This new arms update goes live shortly after this presentation. The goddess Rubis has spoken, and you have been chosen. Dragon Quest Builders is destined for Nintendo Switch. The game is a big hit in Japan, mixing the fun of building with an overarching story and the combat of an action RPG. 
You'll master the art of construction, build your own towns however you want, defend them from monsters, and rescue townsfolk in need. Succeed, and you may just rebuild Alephgard, the very same world where the series began. A separate free build mode allows you to build to your heart's content with unlimited resources. And a Nintendo Switch exclusive Great Saber Cub will boost your speed and grant you special material by defeating enemies. Dragon Quest Builders is planned for release in Spring 2018. The Kirby game that we showed off at E3 has some charming new tricks. Throw hearts and up to three enemies will become your allies. By working together, you can initiate team-up attacks, like a stone drop using ESP, and many more, depending on your ally's copy abilities. You can also share elemental attributes to augment copy abilities and create combinations, like a bomb-turned-hot-air balloon. Whether you play alone or co-op with up to three friends, it's fun to mix up your alliances and create new powers. Together, you may have a chance to defeat the dark new force manipulating Dreamland. Kirby Star Allies is coming to Nintendo Switch Spring 2018. There's a whole lot of fun in store thanks to Nintendo eShop. Dig into the underworld of the platform mining adventure, SteamWorld Dig 2, on September 21st. Golf through courses, towns, puzzles, and challenges in the sporty RPG Golf Story this year. This holiday, up to four players can blast them up together locally or online in nine parchments. Feast on combo-based action and solve match three puzzles in Battle Chef Brigade this year. Deploy units and your masterful strategies in the turn-based tactical RPG Tiny Metal. Leap up walls and dodge saws in the randomly constructed side-scroller Super Meat Boy Forever in 2018. Never hurts to beef up your gaming library. The Nintendo Switch lineup is stacking up fast. Use the power of memory to restore what the world has lost in this modern take on traditional RPGs, Lost Sphere, on January 23rd, 2018. Join the uprising by fighting back as Modern Sonic, Classic Sonic, or any one of the many custom hero characters you can create in Sonic Forces November 7th. Face your fears and uncover the truth as both Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Revelations 2 make their way to Nintendo Switch on November 28th. Rockstar Games is bringing LA Noir to Nintendo Switch on November 14th, featuring all of its downloadable content, new collectibles, detective suits with special abilities, a Joy-Con mode, and new wide and over-the-shoulder camera angles, plus touchscreen controls for portable detective work. That's the last quick headline for Nintendo Switch. However, we have one last game to talk about today. Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information about the game as well. Mario isn't too happy about Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach. And Cappy, his new friend from the Cap Kingdom, has a mission of his own, to rescue his sister Tiara. And now the hero and his hat must join forces. Somehow, Cappy can grant his wearer free control over his powers. So together with Mario, they'll travel the globe and make good use of Cappy's skills, especially the new Capture ability, which allows Mario to take control of many enemies, animals, and objects. This globetrotting adventure will take them all over the place. New Donk City in the Metro Kingdom, Coast Arena in the Sand Kingdom, Mount Volbono in the Luncheon Kingdom, Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom, Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom, Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom, and today, 
For the first time, we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice-cold realm will chill you to the core. Now, take a look at Bubbleane in the Seaside Kingdom. It's a popular travel destination for many thanks to its gorgeous, crystal-clear waters. Apparently, the seawater has a refreshing fizz, like it's carbonated. But we won't spoil them all. Mario has even more kingdoms to visit, including tropical islands. To get from place to place, Mario is literally traveling in style. Aboard his cap-shaped ship, the Odyssey. It runs on power moons scattered across the world. By collecting them, you can power up the Odyssey and make it to the next kingdom. The number of power moons required to reach a destination is different for each kingdom. But as you can see in this list, there are even more power moons than that, which should keep your inner treasure hunter hungry for more. I mean, some of these things are really hidden. You may need to acquire one by solving a puzzle or defeating enemies. They're hiding everywhere, so make sure to explore every corner of the world using every move at your disposal. If you collect them all, something neat may happen. Having trouble hunting down power moons? Then try talking to Takatu for hints. You could also give a few coins to the hint toad or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a Power Moon's location on the map. If you're feeling stuck, it's worth a shot. Globetrotting does have its benefits. You may find places to play minigames like Koopa Freerunning or a Jump Rope Challenge. You'll earn Power Moons based on your results. And you can check out the scores and times of other players the world over if you're connected online. Also, the game world is home to a franchise of shops called Crazy Cap. There you can obtain outfits and other stuff with the coins you've collected. Then customize Mario's look. Some outfits are thematically tied to the kingdom you're in or to a game from Mario's storied past. So don't be afraid to play a little dress up just to suit your mood. Match your surroundings or just because. And don't forget to let the Odyssey in on the action with decorative stickers and souvenirs from Crazy Cap. There are just so many excuses for a quick photo op. That's where snapshot mode comes in. Simply freeze time at any moment, snap some fun photos of Mario, and go for a close-up. You can blur your surroundings, change color schemes, you name it. You can even rotate the camera and nail that vertical photo for your smartphone. You could post it to social media or use it as wallpaper on your PC or smartphone. For many, Mario games are all about making memories, so capture away. We've taken great care in creating these detailed sandbox environments for you to explore and make the most of Mario's new and familiar moves. We made sure the game is chock full of classic gameplay elements, alongside a wide world of things you've never done before. Even the song that's playing right now is a Mario series first, thanks to its lyrics sung by the one and only Pauline. I hope you're ready for more surprising new ideas. Super Mario Odyssey, landing on Nintendo Switch October 27th. These wedding style amiibo figures will be available that same day, both individually and as a set. As you can see, they'll come in handy during your adventure. 
and all other Amiibo are supported. Alongside the game, we're also releasing a special hardware bundle including the Super Mario Odyssey software and the themed Joy-Con you see here, along with a carrying case. We'll continue to release more new information on the official site of Super Mario Odyssey and on Twitter as we await Mario's next great journey. That's it for me and from today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching.